Hello, I'm Deborah McGrath, Senior Technical Product Marketing Manager at ServiceNow. In this seven-minute demo, you'll see key capabilities of ServiceNow IT business management applications and capabilities that will enable your organization to adapt planning to embrace the uncertainties that happen with change. With traditional plan-driven models and complex rules and controls, organizations are not very good at dealing with uncertainty. When change happens, it can be difficult to adapt plans and refocus your teams to reach desired business outcomes. ITBM helps you stop obsessing over static annual techniques and processes and start thinking about how teams across your organization can be agile and adaptive to change and pivot in uncertain environments. With ITBM, you can move away from annual planning cycles to more adaptive approaches, and you can eliminate the roadblocks created by heavy governance and better engage with lean operations, all of which leads to greater organizational agility. Let's take a look at how, through the eyes of three key stakeholders, a business executive, a finance director, and a portfolio manager. We first logged in as Jake Elliott, an executive stakeholder who is viewing the ITBM executive strategy dashboard to check on the performance of various business strategies in his organization. These include total revenue, customer service score, and employee experience score. In the first quarter of their fiscal year, most of the initiatives prioritized by the organization have been aligned with increasing total revenue and improving the customer service score. And those efforts appear to be having a positive impact. Unexpectedly, he's also seeing a drop in the employee experience score. To address this, Jake has spoken to Christine Fairchild, the Director of Finance, about making some funding changes and shifting some of their annual budget toward improving employee experience. He's confident this won't be a problem because their organization has transitioned from annual planning to quarterly planning, so they can be much more flexible to change. Logging in is Christine. We'll see how she uses ITBM to adapt their current plans to make these changes. She'll use investment funding to assess their current top-level investments and to determine how to best plan for the second quarter of 2020. Christine begins by selecting the All Investments by Business strategy to review the funding decisions that have been made for fiscal year 2020. She was given an annual budget of $300 million. So far, she's only allocated $75 million in funding for specific strategies for the first quarter of 2020. And she still has $225 million available for the rest of the year. Reviewing Q1, she sees that they have evenly funded two business strategies for the first quarter, grow the business and unmatch customer service. She had $75 million in funds received and allocated the entire $75 million, split evenly between the two business strategies with no additional funding available. However, as she was informed by Jake, the downtrending employee experience strategy has now suddenly taken precedence. And beginning with Q2, Christine needs to make adjustments in order to fund this newly prioritized strategy while still funding the existing strategies. Because they were funded the previous quarter, the system has already automatically added the Grow the Business and Unmatched Customer Service strategies. She just needs to add the Employee Experience strategy and redistribute the $75 million allocated for the quarter. She selects Add, filters by the entity type Enterprise Strategy, and selects Employee Experience. Next, she needs to fund the strategy. She's decided to again evenly split the funds available across these three strategies. This includes $15 million in CapEx for each strategy and $10 million each for OpEx. When satisfied with the adjustments to the plan, she selects Fund and confirms the allocations, which now includes $25 million in new funding for efforts related to the employee experience strategy, pending approval from the Chief Strategy Officer, Sai Patel. Christine informs Jake that she's reallocated the $75 million available for Q2 and that their adapted plan now supports all three desired business strategies. She also notifies Megan Burke, the Human Resources Portfolio Manager, about the additional funding that will be available for the HR portfolio investments that are aligned with the employee experience strategy. Happy to hear this, Megan logs into the PMO dashboard, where she tracks planned and actual costs across all the portfolios she manages. This currently includes 17 human resources projects. 
As she reviews the portfolio projects by category, investment type, and priority, she realizes that she may need to adjust her portfolio investments to support this funding change. She'll begin to do that using the demand workbench to understand which incoming work requests are best aligned to their reprioritized business strategies. When she first looks at the demand workbench, Megan sees all the demands for the organization that are in the qualified stage and ready to potentially move forward. Next, she'll apply a filter to list only the demands that are part of the HR portfolio which she manages. These items support a wide variety of the organization's HR initiatives. She changes the filter again to show only the demands that are aligned with the two strategies that were funded in Q1. These were the demands that she had also planned to focus on in Q2. However, knowing that the additional strategy, employee experience, has been prioritized and funded for Q2, Megan thinks there may be additional work that they can do to support it. So she selects a filter defined to look at all the demands for all three strategies and sees that there are in fact additional items that can be addressed in Q2. The bubble chart above displays all the demands in the filtered list below and helps Megan further consider how to best adapt her portfolio planning. She believes that the sourcing request portal demand, which is high value and low risk, appears to be a good investment to promote as a project for Q2. With a simple right-click, she does just that. Once all the necessary changes have been made, she'll use the investment portal to track her portfolio projects, demands, and costs. Selecting her HR portfolio, Megan is presented with a detailed list showing the current status of all HR projects and demands. Using standard service now configuration capabilities, she'll add a column to view and then group those investments by strategy. Megan expands the Employee Experience Group to see a list of all the projects and demands aligned to the newly funded strategy, including the new sourcing request portal project. ITBM will make it easy to keep track of its status and quickly adapt and make changes to this project or any items that may need attention. Now that she has quickly adapted her plans to help support the newly prioritized business strategy, Megan is confident that Jake and Christine will soon see the desired performance improvements and better business outcomes. You just saw how ServiceNow IT business management drives greater organizational agility by enabling stakeholders and teams across the organization with the tools they need to quickly adapt their planning, embrace uncertainty, and seamlessly manage change. For additional information, visit servicenow.com slash ITBM.